The escaped prisoner accused of killing one of the state's top correctional administrators went before a judge today. Deborah Johnson was a longtime TDOC employee and her family in here in Nashville is heartbreaking, heartbroken over this loss. As family and friends mourn, New Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen was in Lauderdale County as the suspect was officially charged in her murder. This morning, Curtis Watson was escorted from the Tipton County Jail to Lauderdale County. He has now been transferred back to Tennessee Department of Correction custody. This means he'll be housed at Riverbend Maximum Security Institution in Nashville. I'm confident that they are taking the necessary measures to keep him secure. Watson is facing several charges, including first degree murder, felony escape, aggravated sexual battery, and especially aggravated Berkeley. District Attorney Mark Davidson says they plan on meeting with Deborah Johnson's family to discuss the death penalty and other aspects of the case. I feel that it's uh, almost certainly beneficial for the family's peace of mind uh, to know that he's in custody, uh, that charges are pending, uh, that a prosecution has begun and, and that can allow them to focus uh, on remembering and honoring their mother. Today in court, we learn that Curtis Watson will undergo a mental health evaluation. That evaluation will happen before the preliminary hearing, according to Assistant District Attorney Julie Pillow. First of all, they determine competency and second of all, they determine insanity. The prosecution hopes to move this case forward as quickly as possible so the victim's family can get justice. Reporting in Lauderdale County, Alexandra Cohen, New Channel 5. Curtis Watson is expected back in court in September. Download the New Channel 5 app for updates on this case.